Hey guys, how's it going? I uh, just have here for the night now. Just set up my lavoo. And I got my stove in it in there now. And I did... Uh, I, I got the, the stove pipe tied off there because uh, if you notice most hat tents, uh, the stove pipe usually comes through, them, uh, up through the, uh, the roof a lot higher, right? So, uh, it, you know, it was a little bit wobbly. Now I doubt it would have, um, I doubt it would have tipped over anything, but the uh, last thing I'm watching in the middle of the night is, you know, knock into it or something and, and tip it over with a fire going in the stove. So uh, what I did was, I took some snare wire. Let me bring in the camera here. So I put some snare wire from uh, one of the stove pipe rings. Cause I didn't want to tie the bank line onto there because it's probably just going to melt melt off anyway. So I just put another uh, loop in the end of the snare wire and got tied off to a tree and I done the same thing on that side. Now, uh, that I keep from, it should be pretty good, but I might actually just stick a little uh, brace from the top of my uh, tripod there down to the stove pipe as well. And then shouldn't have no worries about it going anywhere, right? Now, it is very unlikely that uh, I'm going to be walking through that way. But uh, just in case I do something stupid, I think I'm going to uh, uh, take some uh, trail ribbon and just put a couple pieces of trail ribbon across that uh, bank line. That way I don't uh, knock into it or anything by mistake. Uh, it's dinner time here now, so I did have some things prepared here. I come back to the same site that me and my son uh, had a boy up there not too long ago. I, I had a few things here. I had a little bit of wood already sawed up. So I still have to chop some of that up for a few splits for uh, the wood stove. And uh, I got a steak there that I'm going to grill over the fire there to the once. I'm not going to use the wood stove for that. I'd rather taste it 10 times better over the open fire. So that's what I'm going to do for that. But uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good night. I believe it's supposed to um, uh, rain early tomorrow morning. But uh, I had to take advantage of this day. And there's not much wind or anything like that here. So... You know, you got a job to beat it, and you got to take every chance you can get. You know, many a times I, uh, uh, you know, you've heard me say in other videos that, uh, you know, I, I put off chances to come up because, you know, uh, sometimes, of course, it was uh, out of my control, but uh, I, I was kind of reluctant because it rained early tomorrow morning, only through camera gear and that, but um, uh, I know that uh, if I put it off, I'm probably going to end up two or three weeks before. I'm able to uh, to get up again. That's usually what happens. So I figured I'd come on now, and if I got to leave a little bit earlier tomorrow morning, well, so be it. Waiting for that steak to cook there now. Did a little bit more than I planned on before I got something to eat. But I was there cracking away, chopping up wood and that, and time got away from me a little bit. But it's not a big deal. But, uh, just waiting for that to cook there now. That steak is going to be pretty good, I hope. You'll hear me say pretty well every time it comes up in the woods, you'll, you'll never beat anything cooked over open fire, right? Eh? Pretty good little grill. There are some, there, there are other grills out there that's better, but it serves a purpose, right? It's pretty small. Just allows me to throw a steak on there pretty easily, right? I uh, took my uh, 
my rifle with me. Actually, it's uh, my son's rifle, 22 long. Just in case I see a rabbit or something like that. Because, you know, just sitting there yourself sometimes, uh, usually it's a lot quieter. You never know what might pop around or something, right? Well, I'm waiting for that steak to cook there. How do you like your steak? Are you one of those, you know, that uh, that has it like charcoal? Are you a rare person? Me personally, I like them like medium, medium rare, just like pink in the middle. But anyway, just let me know in the comments uh, how you like your steak. I forgot my fork, but I got a spork, so I guess I'm gonna have to manage with that. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. This should be illegal. Oh. So boys, I'm going to uh, finish up the steak. And uh, then I'm going to have a cup of tea or something. So what I'm doing there now is just uh, putting some moss up around the, the edges to fill in the gaps, that way there's no draft coming through tonight. So we got some uh, some frank on here guys. And I brought a little baggie with me just in case I did find some. Uh, it doesn't look right hard yet but I'm gonna harvest it and uh, few pieces here. So here it is. Dried uh, sap, usually falling on a spruce or something like that, usually. I'm not going to try to reach there. Some, there's some more there, but I'm not going to try to reach it. There's some more on this side too. Uh, so uh, my dad used to say, he used to hear him say one time, he said, uh, he, he, when he used to be lagging that he'd be always chewing on Frankham and stuff, eh? And he used to say, when I was younger, he used to say to him, he said, you chew on that, you'll never have sores in your mouth. Of course now, you know, being younger and all that, you never pay much attention to some of that stuff. Apparently it, it, it does have uh, some medicinal properties, properties in that, eh? Uh, it's been a long time since I, I've, uh, since I've used it myself, right? But, uh, Every now and again, I can remember younger chewing on it, and I guess it's just nature's uh, nature's bubble gum, really. I guess you can call it. But uh, you got to make sure it's um, it's good and dry first. If you harvest it, harvest it when it's uh, still gooey in that, it's just going to like just stick to your teeth and all that. You can't you can't really chew it or nothing, right? So you got to make sure it's good and dry. It's usually not hard to find. Like I said, you see it on spruce a lot, right? So guys, you know that uh, no trip in the woods will be complete without a uh, good mug of tea. So guys, not much longer now and it'll be, uh, it'll be getting dark. Sun's slowly getting down there now. So I got a few couple more things there to do and just double check, make sure I get every, everything uh, ready for the night so I don't be, uh, you know, stumbled around looking for anything. So yeah, all in all, it was a pretty good day so far. You know, the worst thing is, like I said, it, it gets dark uh, pretty early now, like 5.30, so, you know, it's going to be a long night, obviously. And it's, you know, it's like close to 8, 8 a.m. before it's uh, daylight again. Trying to settle down there now, guys. There's enough heat in there, I tell you. I had to uh, open up the door now several times. I'm going to have two... Uh, slack off on the wood there a bit but uh, definitely more than enough heat putting off more than enough heat for this little this little tent that's for sure but 
but uh, yeah, that's about it, I guess. Not much else to do for tonight now, so uh, see you guys in a bit, I guess. Morning guys, had a pretty good night overall, no wind which is strange, it was pretty quiet and all that eh, it was actually uh, a little bit too warm a few times, I had to open the door to the lavu to let some cool air in, you know it's better be a little bit too warm sometimes I guess than, uh, than cold eh, so guys I guess that's it for this one, I, uh, I'm going to pack up my gear in it there now, and uh, give my wife a car to come pick me up and uh, hit her home. So guys, I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video.